to do research, I think the answer has to look start what is the resources that we need. And in every single research environment, be it from a developing country or the developing setting, most of us will claim that we need extra resources, meaning merely financial. But uh, coming back and looking back at the last five years, the most important ones to me are the human resources. Who is the people who are going to do the job? Do we have enough of them? Do we have well-prepared, well-trained? But most importantly, do we have them well exposed to challenging, productive research environments? And to me, now that I've been back in Peru in the last uh, now five years, that's the most crucial challenge and change that I'm seeing there. In the past two or three decades ago, the number of people who opted for an option to do research were to be counted with your hands. There were only a few of them who were crazy enough or amazingly clever <laughs> to go on the this work. But now, now we see more and more people taking and considering strongly this as an option. So certainly financial issues are important, but to me, critical mass is a crucial investment. And in Peru, we're starting to see flourishing uh, a good critical mass around research. In terms of changes, I would say we would need to capitalize on this growing opportunity. There is a bubbling energy, a busting energy among younger individuals who wanted to opt or wanted to try research as a good option. And we will be very, very poor or idiots if we do not capitalize on this opportunity. People wanting to do research are out there. We will never have sufficient resources to do research. In Canada, in the States, in Europe, in Peru, whatever, resources will always be constrained. But we will have to figure out innovative uh, uh, ways of interacting and bringing these people closer and together to a research environment. And to me, that, that is not an issue of merely money. It's an issue of time, quality and challenging these brains to, to, um, to a research environment. And these, I think there are they're enormous potentials to go forward. Main reason being is that the way that we're interacting with each other through social media, internet, email, is changing dramatically. And the new generation of people are in that wave. Researchers, we have to capitalize on that. There's bursting interest, there, the, we have the opportunity to increase the critical mass. We need to figure out the best ways to do that in the 20th century.